Hey everybody, welcome back to Auto Anatomy. This time we're working on the Model A again. We've got some steering upgrades, we're going to do some general maintenance items, and try and diagnose a vibration in the engine. Stay tuned. So this time we're going to be back on the Model A. Um, on the last video you saw us do a little bit of work on getting it ready for winter, getting the top on, getting the heater on. This time we've got some general maintenance items to do, adjusting the parking brake, filling some little holes in the firewall, replacing some grommets, but we're also going to do some steering upgrades. We've got new ball joints and end links for the steering and we're going to try and diagnose a vibration that's been kind of nagging since we got the car. The engine should run perfectly smooth, but it's got a little bit of vibration just off idle. So on this episode, we're going to try and diagnose that and see if we can fix it. Let's get started. So, so see how much you've got. Yeah, there's legit like three inches of play there in yeah, the steering wheel. Yeah, that is. Should be an inch and a half. Okay. So you just take this square plug out and check the oil level? Yeah. Well, let's just see. I don't see anything in there. I see no oil at all down in there. We so have to consult with the Model A lubrication guide. And gear loop broken. Let me get 600 weight. 600 weight? Uh huh, nice. Near grease. Oh, yeah. Well, that's like pudding. Uh huh, well, it's 600 weight. Well, did it just bubble over or is it? No, nope, I think it's full now. I think it's full. to back off this jam nut, tighten it down till it is solid and then back it off an eighth of a turn and then tighten that jam nut down again. That's the first adjustment that we have to do. Okay, perfect. And then the next one will be over here on the side plate. All right, well, let's get started. That looks like a, maybe a 9 sixteenths or a 5 eighths and then you've got a jam nut that's probably an 11 sixteenths or 3 fourths. So you tighten it down until it feels right? <laughs> there was no, in the service bulletin, there's no thing about, I don't want to tighten it, just dead tight. Right. But I'll just back it off a little bit. Probably the same type of procedure where you back it off an eighth, back it off an eighth or so, yeah. and then tighten the, the jam nut down. The service bulletin is uh, unclear, <laughs> shall we say. Back when judgment was allowed, I'm <laughs> sure. Okay, I'm going from slack to slack. You pull the eye on the ball, then you loosen these four bolts here. Okay. Just enough to back them away a bit, mm -hmm. and then you take. There's a big eccentric down there on the mm -hmm. on the uh, idle arm bracket, and you tighten it. And apparently, a little goes a long way. Okay. To tighten it up, 
That may have to wait. That may have to wait for another day. Uh, yeah, I would tend to agree with you. So, if the Which foils are all bound, that would remove the vibration. Yeah, remove the springiness from them. I so would agree. It almost makes me wonder if, if there is a nut down there or a bolt or something like that, if you loosen that, would it allow the springs to come up a little bit or are the springs just Col worn out worn out and collapsed? Yeah, I don't know. Take a little screwdriver and... No, there's there's no room there. That it's sitting flat on each other, so it's basically a solid motor mount right well, now. Well, then that explains the vibration right there. Yeah. Right there. Oh, mercy. Yeah, so what we're looking at here is this bolt is worn out here, and the bushings are just shot and what's the see it's got a it's got a rubber thing yeah. internal to it yeah it, it does doesn't appear in any representation i've been able to yeah find. no I, I don't see that anywhere either but yeah this has definitely got some kind of rubber isolator snubbing but i think this was just absolutely worn out i agree and although these look like original parts, I don't, I don't know. Well, between the T, uh, 28's the first year. Okay. So between the transition, from, and this is an early 28. Okay. So the transition from the T to the A, and uh, 28 to 29, there were some changes, so mm -hmm. who knows? Yeah. But either way, this was an issue. Well, and you can just look right here on the, the bushing and it was cracked oh, yeah. right there. Yeah. It, it's just all pretty well clapped. We don't gonna... have to replace it all. So we're kind of at an impasse on fixing the motor mounts in the Model A until we can get some new parts in place. But don't worry, with the Model A, there are always more things that you can work on. I just got a, a slot that's got a hundred years of wear on it. <laughs> I can see the the ball. The ball looks like it's in good shape, so I'm not worried about that. This. Yeah, there's the spring mm. oh there it goes boy the brake rod is in the way turn the wheel and I'll tell you which way to go because I'm having to hold the steering together yeah that way keep going one more perfect got there it go yeah no, it, it really doesn't look bad at all yeah so we'll just clean it up and replace the components place the components and put it back on. So the cup and spring is on the inside of the front. Yeah. And on the outside of the, the back. back. Yeah. All right, we're going to change the tie rod ends now. And it looks like the easiest way is to cut the wheels all the way to the left. And then come on over to the right side here. It will barely give us enough access to get in there and get that tie rod end off. So I got, you got it I got it off, yeah. Somehow I feel like this may be a problem in <laughs> alignment. <laughs> but it's what we have to do in order to get to the driver's side in link. Like stuck 
in there too. Yeah. Okay, so we've got new springs and then the silicone bronze cups, which yep. are right like right that. there. So that'll drop in. Yep. First on that end, and that end's done. So then on the other end, we have to put it together on the put ball. Put together on the ball first, and then. And Slide the spring, spring in the and cup. then this silicone bronze cup. Grease in there. We got the drag link ends replaced, we got the tie rod ends replaced, we got the parking brake adjusted, and we figured out a big problem on the front of the engine with the motor mounts that's causing a lot of vibration. If you like what you see here, click on that subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when new videos come out. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Hi, Abigail. Hi, Abigail. Can you say hi? Hello, Max.